back with the Cornelius Catfish channel and today guys we're going to do something a little different. Now we do cook fish on this channel. We've cooked catfish. We've even cooked gar but we've never cooked anything in the carp family. Now I know a lot of people know about buffalo carp. That's what a lot of people around here usually eat, usually go eat and everything but Asian carp is in the same family and you can rib it out the same way you do buffalo carp and that's what we've done here. Khalil just caught this, I want to say, about two days ago. You know, these fish are one of the most annoying fish there is. I know, like, I see a lot of people catching these fish and just throwing them back. I've seen them get stumped out, and I've seen people just didn't want them and didn't want to keep them. And um, a lot of people don't know that it tastes just like buffalo and you cook it just like buffalo. So today, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you all how to not waste this fish if you get this fish. Because if you season it up, fry it good, it's going to taste just like buffalo, you all. So I'm going to show you all the clip of Khalil catching bait. And he um, caught this big Asian carp that we're about to eat now. He ribbed it out for us. So just stay tuned, watch the clips, and we'll be right back. What is this? Keep that for bait. It's bait, y'all. Amaya, can you bring that bucket over here so we can put this bait in here, please? We need them.
I think it's a grinner. No, let's see. Nice agent. Check me now. back y'all and we are about to season up the cornmeal now i know you all see me do this a lot of times it's the same way and this is like i said this is asian cart we never cooked this and if you've never tried it try it out because it's the same family as buffalo and it tastes just like buffalo so in here we have the cornmeal and we have the ends now, I'm going to use Slap Your Mama again because I don't have any Creole at the moment. And I used this on my last, what was it, the crappie video you all seen. And it was good, so I'm going to use it again. So I'm just going to season this cornmeal and Andy's with some Slap Your Mama because it's good enough too. And we're going to use some onion powder. I got to have onion powder on everything I cook, y'all, for some reason. I'm just addicted to it. Now, this is garlic powder. We're going to add just, I'm not going to add as much as I add of the onion powder. I'm just going to add a little bit. And I have my pepper here. And I don't have a lot of cornmeal in here because it's not that many ribs. It wasn't, it was a nice size Asian carpet. It wasn't that big, but I'm going to cook all the ribs today. So, you all know how we do. We're going to close the bag up. We're going to shake up the seasoning. Now, ribbed out buffalo carp looks the exact same. Like I said, as Asian carp, this meat is white. It is good. And Asians, I believe, they, they eat really most of the time just eat grass. So it's a real clean fish. And as you can see, the meat is white. It looks just like buffalo when you rib it out. We didn't do the video of cleaning it because... We have to clean it somewhere else because we're not in the same house we used to be in. But anyway, um, next time maybe we'll show you all how to clean that video. But I know there's other YouTube videos out there that actually show how to clean Asian carp. But this is how the fish looks and it's ribbed out just like buffalo. You scale it out and you just rib it out. You just cut the ribs out. Now, we're going to put this in the bag. The ribs just like buffalo right here. It's already been soaked in salt and vinegar. I cleaned it off, so we're just gonna put this in a bag. Now, always keep air in the bag so you won't mess up your seasoning because if you don't, it'll, it'll get real wet and it'll mess it up. So y'all know I tell y'all on every video, keep the air in the bag like this if you can. Close it with the air in it, shake it around and it won't get as messy and you'll be able to use it um, more than probably two times if it don't get too messed up. I'm just gonna shake it all around, make sure it's getting all over the fish. I'm gonna put it in this strainer and while I'm doing this, 
too, I want to let you all know, remember that it's getting closer. Daddy Cornelius will be home soon. Now, the grease is getting hot over here. So this is the uh, fish. It's all seasoned up. I'm just going to add it to the strainer. Ribs just like buffalo. Now I'm just going to drop it in the deep fryer. We're going to let that fry up. And when it gets done, we're going to take it out. I'm just going to cook probably some fries with this. I really just want to do this video to show you all how to cook that. So let this fry up and we'll be back back. Just stick with it. I also want to, while we're waiting on the fries to get done, the fish is already done. Um, I just want to shout out my sister-in-law, Daddy Cornelia's sister, Coco. Her name is actually Coretta. She made these shirts for us. And that's another thing that I wanted to touch on too. Thank you so much, Coco, for making the shirts for us. And um, we are about to have some new merch out, you all. It's going to be shirts. There's going to be hats. There's going to be um, custom-made fishing poles. Everything that you can probably think of. Bags and all. We are getting this merch made. So y'all just stay tuned. And I'm actually going to do a video. I'm going to uh, give out some free ones. And I also want to thank my mom because Mother's Day passed. And my mom just got me this for Mother's Day. This big expensive pot. She always get me these zip pots just like this purple one she gave me this purple one for mother's day i want to say um a couple years ago so i really appreciate it you all thank you so much and like i said if anybody have anything they want to send to the p.o box is p.o box 109 in carroll illinois now i'm waiting on the fries to get done and um like i said Khalil's going to taste test it so I just wanted to let you all know about the merch that we're going to have out we're going to have a lot of merch out like i said hats cups everything everything you can think of so um just stay tuned stick with us don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we'll be right have the kids here and they're making cupcakes and they're decorating their own cupcakes for after we eat y'all say hey to the camera everybody hey tell them don't forget to hit that like and subscribe don't, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe Look at all the sprinkles she got on there. <laughs> Put it up there and do another one. Put it up there and do another Some one. Chocolate sprinkles. You can see right there. And at the top. Somebody put it off the wrapper. It is. Somebody put it off the wrapper. No, just sit it down and you're going to eat it when we get through eating. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna try the. Hmm. It's, not, oh, it's, mm. it's not getting out the good. Yeah. Khalil ribbed it out just like you would do a um a buffalo cart, and so you just it's just got these big bones right here. It's not too bony. It's just these bones right here. These are little ribs. We'll have some bigger ones probably next time. But look, the meat just comes right off. You just eat it. It tastes so good, especially it's seasoned up. It's seasoned up, right? You eat it just like you eat buffalo. Look, it's just going to be these big bones right here. The kids, they're eating chicken nuggets. They're not going to eat this, but. I get it just like buffalo. It tastes just like buffalo. You probably wouldn't even know the difference. So, for y'all throwing them Asian carbs back, stumping them out, <laughs> stumping them out and carrying on, y'all better try it and season it up and eat it. It tastes just like buffalo. Like I said, look, the meat is real white. It's real clean. Just like buffalo rib. Asian carp, y'all, is in the same family. If you don't know, a lot of people probably do know. A lot of people probably don't. But that's all we got for y'all today. We'll go catfishing soon. Mm -hmm. We got some catfish bait finally. But it's been like a little rough for me to take the kids catfishing because usually, you know, when Daddy Cornelius is home, which he will be home soon, um, we go to some spots that's like, I really have to have my eye on the kids. And, um, so I'm really not in a rush to go catfishing yet. And if I do, we'll probably like try the point or somewhere like the kids don't have to be by the water and we will be going catfishing soon. So y'all just stick with us. Thanks for being patient with us until daddy Cornelius get back home and we'll see you all on the next video. Take care.